you know, that, that is lovely. I mean, I remember years ago, I met the wonderful Tony Curtis, and at the time he was married to a much younger, beautiful, beautiful wife, and I remember the question came up then, and he went, oh, do you know what? If she dies, she dies. <laughs> um, <laughs> when, you know, I think it's how we all have to look at it, and that, that's how Gary's put it there. He could walk out the door and get hit by a bus. Absolutely. None of us knows what we are promised, oh, and if you find really love and happen. happiness, and then like who would judge? And couple as well. Yeah, I mean, do. She's, she doesn't look 73, does she? Yeah. She looks really sprightly. But you know what? The thing is, though, how would we feel if it was the other way round? If it was well, like an Tony older Curtis, man, much yeah, but but like you know, there was a fifty-three year age gap yeah. between a man and a woman. Would we still? Would we find it endearing? Because actually, we think the girl or the woman in that yeah. in that relationship is more of a victim <laughs> rather than. Than this young I man. I think it who's depends because you see old. something in paper and you might have an opinion. But sometimes when you meet the couple, a couple, and you witness yourself the chemistry and the bond that someone has, uh, then you might not think that way. On paper, it might look that way. But I think 73 do. years ago was like really old, but now 73 nowadays isn't that old. Our Janet Street Porter's in her 70s, yes. Leslie <laughs> Joseph's in her 70s. Do you yeah, know what I mean? It's absolutely. not as old as it was. You know, they're not in wheelchairs and no. they seem really happy and agile. And, it's your outlook, you know, isn't it? It is. It, it is really your outlook. Is. I've always thought.